No. I'm shaking my head now. You know why I'm shaking my head now? Because you out there think, you think that you want an Undertaker versus Bray Wyatt match. You think that bringing the Undertaker back at WrestleMania is going to be great for business. You think that the awe and the mystique of Wyatt, the mystery, the mystery man versus the dead man, is going to be a, a great match. The only thing good about Undertaker versus Bray Wyatt will be the entrances. And you know another good thing? There are two things that will be good. The entrances and when the match is over. Because the match itself will be tough to watch. You don't want to see this. And I'm going to say it right now. I'm going to go on the record. I, I, I think it will be good for Bray Wyatt in terms of in the history books. Bray Wyatt beat The Undertaker at WrestleMania. He beat a legend and it will elevate Bray's status. But as a pure wrestling fan, as a diehard, I do not want to see this match. Just like I didn't want to see Bret Hart versus Vince McMahon, I do not want to see Undertaker versus Bray Wyatt. I do not want to see it. And people go, oh, well, Chris, you want to see Sting wrestle? And Sting's 56 and Triple H is, is, is 46. Why do you want to see that match? You know why? Because Triple H can still go and... Sting, yeah, his his matches in TNA towards the end were not great. But have you seen The Undertaker? This man resembles the body of a 65-year-old man. And we're going to put him in the ring? There are some things that just need to be left alone. Unfortunately, the streak ended. I am from the school that I did not want the streak to end ever. I want Undertaker to retire perfect. It didn't happen. Brock Lesnar got the win. It has elevated Brock Lesnar into a superstar. And that's the way it goes. And I think, unfortunately, the last image that we should see of the Undertaker in a wrestling ring as an active wrestler should be him looking around at WrestleMania 30 after he lost. We should not see Undertaker wrestle again. Undertaker should have retired after the match versus Triple H with Shawn as the referee at WrestleMania 29. Undertaker should have retired then. That's when Undertaker should have retired. When he beat Triple H, when they were on the ramp, and you all saw them. And we thought that was the end of an era. You had to bring him back for WrestleMania 30. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, Brock won the match. It was painful to watch. It was horrible. It was like one of these videos you see where, where, where these young punks beat the hell out of this old man. That's what, that's what you were watching. And it's going to be worse this year. You know why? Undertaker's a year older. So, you may want the aura. You may want the mystique. You may want the thrill of seeing Wyatt and Undertaker face to face. But I'm telling you now. You do not want to see the Undertaker versus Bray Wyatt. You don't want to see the Undertaker wrestle anyone. At WrestleMania 31. Or wrestle anyone ever again. And that's how I feel. Some things are, should, just should be left alone. And The Undertaker's wrestling career should be left alone.